All right, everybody. So what I want to do now is make a summary video because yesterday I made a few videos, maybe two or so, about the binomial distribution and binomial experiments. And I always think it's nice, if I can get to it, uh, to talk about whatever we need to talk about show the examples I need to show, and then maybe do something that's a summary of all of it. Okay, so uh, for the binomial distribution and binomial experiments and so on, here's an example that I hope can just sum up uh, everything we've done up to this point. Okay, so uh, suppose we flip a fair coin four times. Okay, now that itself is a binomial experiment if we let our random variable count the total number of heads uh, out of the four flips, okay? So yeah, that's that's binomial for reasons discussed in other videos leading up to this point. Uh, if, if I say like heads is success, um, then the probability of a heads or a success is 0 0.5. When we say the coin is fair, and I think probably in... in uh, homework, the homework assignment, sometimes it says the coin's fair. Okay, so fair coin means it's 50-50 heads and tails, okay? So the probability of heads is 50% or a half or 0 0.5, and Q, the probability of failure, which we'll consider tails, is also 0 0.5, and in the number of trials, uh-oh, I have the wrong thing there. It should be four, okay? All right, n is four, the total number of trials that we're gonna have, okay? Uh, so yeah, it's a binomial experiment. Now, uh, just to put it all together, uh, instead of calculating individual probabilities, I wanted to see if you could complete the distribution and, and maybe construct the graph, or at least recognize if, if a graph that's given to you is correct, okay? Uh, and that's what the stat cat is is proposing that we do. So if the random variable counts the number of heads out of four flips, then it could be zero. I mean, you flip it four times, they're all they're all tails. It could be one. You flip it four times, there's you know somewhere out of those four flips there was one head. That's if the random variable counts the number of heads. Now, for the probabilities in this column, I calculate that, say, the probability of getting four out of four heads, okay, is 0 0.0625, which means that that's about 6%. That's a little more than 6%. There's only about a 6% chance of getting four out of four heads, okay? Six out of 100 attempts is, is what the prediction would be. Uh, I guess the most probable event in this binomial experiment is if we flip the coin four times and observe that two out of the four flips was heads. See with this right here? It says if x is two, that's two heads out of four. That's a 0 0.375. That's a 37.5% chance. Now, this is called the distribution. For the random variable, it tells you what uh, the probabilities of all the possibilities are. This is the graph, which is the same information, right? Like right here, see that four right there? And then there's a vertical bar that goes up. It, you know, in my picture, it looks like it's about halfway between zero and 0 0.1. And you know, that, you know, according to our distribution is 0 0.0625. Okay, so now, now that's just how it goes. And as far as how I personally calculated this is I went to StatCrunch I go to stat calculators binomial and then I put four trials in P the probability of success is 0 0.5 and then here I could put in like whatever probability I wanted to calculate it puts up the whole distribution though all right I know the graph here looks a little bit different than the one that I had drawn on my document but uh, this this same concept right so remember we said that the probability of getting two heads 
was the most likely event. Do you remember what that number was? It was 0 0.375. We compute 0 0.375. And then it highlights the part of the graph that represents that probability. Okay, so that's how I got those numbers. All right, over here. Uh, I use StatCrunch to do all the computations. Now, let's here I, I kind of want to do an experiment. Uh, the StatCat says there's a 37.5% chance of getting two heads out of four flips. That, that is what it said, right? Let's try it. I mean, 37.5%, that's, that's like a, a little bit more than a one out of three chance. So, so let's try it. And then again, we've got a very slim chance of getting four out of four heads or zero out of four heads being about 6% chance. And w there is a way that we can try this, all right? Uh, now, but I do that th with a caveat, okay? You know, probabilities and all the stuff we do with statistics, it doesn't predict the future. Um, you know, we do statistics because we cannot predict the future. Uh, if I say something's got a 37.5% chance of happening, then, you know, it's... Doesn't mean it will happen, doesn't mean it won't happen. We're just saying like, it's probably about one out of three. Um, if you did this thing more and more and more and more times, it probably average out to be one out of three. That's what we're trying to say. So probabilities just tell us what to expect, okay? So so let's, but, but let's try it. Like if the probabilities tell us what to expect, let's see what happens if we do this. Now I could flip an actual coin if I wanted to, but Instead, I could go to in StatCrunch applets and experiment flip coin. Okay. All right, let's try it. What was that experiment? Flip a coin four times, observe the number of heads. So once, twice, three times, four times. Okay, so I'm going to record that one. All right, so it was tails, heads, tails, tails. And let's reset. Let's try again. All right, there's the, the most likely of all events here is that we got two out of the four. All right, there you go. Let's save that one. See how it saves it over here. Do it like two more times. Oh, there it is. Remember the most likely event of all those possibilities was getting two out of the four. And I'll do one more time. Okay, and then there's the one out of four. Um, all right, so here I've saved it all, and I got two out of four heads twice when I tried this out, and then I got one out of four twice when I tried it out. Now, it's like I nobody knew what was going to happen. That's the nature of this, like I was saying. Um, but, like, I'm not surprised with two out of the four being the most likely occurrence, it, it did happen twice. Like I, I think if I did that more and more and more and more, it would average out that I would that would happen about a third of the time. But notice this extremely rare event here, getting no heads, okay, or four, didn't happen at all, you know. And I I really didn't expect it to because it was only a six percent chance. All right. So well, all right. That's the binomial experiment and distribution. It's how you can calculate the probabilities. And when we give probabilities, they just lead us, uh, you know, what to expect, all right? And the more we do whatever thing we're, is that, that we're talking about or measuring the probabilities of, the more what actually happens, if we did all our math right, is going to tend what the actual probabilities were predicted to be.